The global farmers uh, revolution is happening around the world. We're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and have a listen. Yes, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't know if you've uh, been watching the news, because if you've been watching our news, you wouldn't have heard anything about it. But around the world, if you look at independent media, uh, if you look at media from various sources like RT or from even some Arab media, you know, uh, like Al Jazeera and independent media, you know, Russell Brand and, you know, left or right, Tucker Carlson, you will find out that there has been a global revolution going on from farmers in Europe. Um, obviously, uh, as part of the global globalist agenda to enslave humanity. They uh, are trying to basically almost force farmers out of existence, um, you know, uh, through overly taxing them, through, uh, you know, banning the use of fer some fertilizers or some pesticide or whatever. You know, they're doing everything they can to make life difficult for farmers, to push as many people as they can out of farming so they can also conglomerate it into monopolies. So, yeah, I mean, obviously part of this agenda is that they also want people to eat less meat, um, you know, which is, again, another nonsense. Um, I mean, sure, if you want to eat more vegetables in your diet, sometimes that might be good for you, but they don't want to even give you vegetables. They want to give you bugs, ladies and gentlemen, as we know. Klaus Schwab said, eat the bugs, and, uh, you know, they want us all on a diet of bugs living in their uh, 15 minute cities inside a room about that big approximately. Obviously the farmers of Europe, of which there are many, have had enough and they're bringing their uh, tractors and their uh, their uh, various farm equipment and they're dumping manure onto the uh, onto the doorsteps of various globalist uh, buildings, you know, in Brussels or in Paris or in Barcelona or, you know, it's, it's even been happening in, in the UK. It's been happening all over the place, ladies and gentlemen, up in Scandinavia as well, ladies and gentlemen. So I think this is fantastic and uh, I think we should see some of it here, ladies and gentlemen, in Australia, our own farmers who are equally under pressure with this absolute bullshit about climate change, ladies and gentlemen, which is nonsense, particularly for a country like Australia, who's a carbon footprint is almost next to zero on a global scale and also we have like 30 billion trees uh, in this country and only about 30 million people so you know there's like a thousand trees for every single person so that I mean, Australia is carbon neutral already, but, you know, our farmers have been put under pressure and, you know, we need to look after our farmers. We need to look after uh, food production in this country, just like the Europeans are doing. And obviously that's why they're fighting. And I think this is a huge fight after the pandemic. The pandemic sort of brought everybody together to fight the globalists over their ridiculous totalitarian nonsense over the COVID disease. But now, now that COVID thing has faded away. Uh, you know, this kind of revolution is kind of, um, you know, coalescing behind the farmers. It's also happening in places like Canada. Obviously, there were great, you know, there's the truckers, um, you know, kind of, um, you know, protests there that was big during the pandemic. That's been happening again in Canada. They're all coming together against people like Trudeau, globalist figures like Macron, who are all about bringing in this, you know, um, you know, kind of World Economic Forum agenda. And everybody's coming together. It's a global revolution and there's people on the left and right in this movement. There are truckers and the farmers are on the left and right and they're all coming together to stick it up the globalists, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what we should do. So we support that and we salute we salute all the brave farmers out there fighting the uh, uh, the global uh, insurgency against humanity and keep the fight and we support you thank you for listening